Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I'm greatly honored to be a part of this uh, high-level forum on the occasion of the first uh, annual International Day of Women and Girls in Science. I would have uh, much preferred to be able to participate at the forum and be among you. Regrettably, prior commitments, in particular related to the ongoing negotiations for a comprehensive settlement of the cyber's problem, have meant that I was unable to travel to New York. I wish to thank the organizers of this event, including the Royal Academy of Science International Trust and its executive director, Her Royal Highness Princess uh, Dr. Nishrin El Hashemid, and recognize their immense contribution in promoting participation of women and uh, girls in science. Despite uh, positive developments, progress toward achieving uh, gender equality in the power of, wo of women and girls has been slow and uneven. As regards education, there has certainly been uh, great progress since the Beijing Declaration and Platform for Action and the outcomes of the 23rd Special Session of the General Assembly on the enrollment of girls and women at all levels of education. However, the percentage of women in science and engineering studies remains significantly low. Women and girls still face discrimination when it comes to access to education the workplace and the pursuit of a career. It is important to continue work uh, toward gender equality, including equal access to education, as it is critical to achieving the 2030 agenda. Sustainable development and sustained, inclusive and equitable economic growth cannot be achieved without gender equality and without half of the world's population realizing their full potential and human rights. I am pleased to inform you that Cyprus has achieved positive developments in the area. We will continue working toward the same, both at home and abroad. Nationally, by a number of policies that address gender role stereotypes and social prejudice. Internationally, we'll continue to advocate and work for greater gender equality and for increasing the participation and access of women and girls in science and technology. In concluding, I wish to address myself to all women and girls and uh, recognizing the significant barriers and difficulties that they face in pursuing more involvement with science and technology, urge them to not be discouraged and assure that we will continue to stand by 